Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Tips and Gist. Today I'm here to teach you how to create an account on Job Bank Canada. Please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel because I have lots of videos to give you guys. Creating a Job Bank account is similar to you creating a Facebook account. It gives you the opportunity to do a lot of styles. For instance, if you go on Facebook and you have an account, you are able to comment or even like a post. If you don't have an account, you are able to just watch the post and pass by. Similar to Job Bank. If you have a Job Bank account, you are able to save a job. You are also able to apply a job directly on Job Bank. Yes, there are some companies who allow you to apply directly on Job Bank. Other employers will also ask you to pick their email address and uh, message them through the email. So if it is about companies who are asking you to apply directly on Job Bank and you don't have an account, you can't apply. I made mention about saving a job. You saw about four companies that you are interested in, but you don't have a CV or a cover letter. You can save the jobs to your profile or you can save that companies to your profile so that when your CV is ready, you just go on Job Bank straight to your profile. Those companies will be there. Then you just apply to them. So this is the reason why I will encourage you to create a Job Bank account. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a job bank account and I'm going to also demonstrate how you can save a job to come and apply later. So let's go straight and have a demonstration. Please, we are right here on Google. For the sake of those who have not been able to go to job bank before, we are going to start from the scratch. So when you come on Google, please type Canada Job Bank. When you type Canada Job Bank, you click on the search. You are going to see job bank, okay? Uh, look at this logo this is their logo lots of people have made duplicates of that website okay so to know the right website please take a closer look at this logo so that you know that you're on the right website when you click on job bank it should open okay so we are on the website as usual you are going to see warning they are trying to tell you that you cannot apply for every job on job bank that means that there are some selected jobs that you can apply okay i have done a video talking about that so please review that video if you have not watched that video so that you can know the jobs that you can apply as an international applicant or somebody outside canada because most of the jobs there are for people in canada okay so visit my first video and you are going to know what i'm talking about but today we are going to learn how to sign in or how to create a job bank account so you see this side the sign in you click on it they'll ask you if you are signing in as an employer or a job seeker you and i we are job seekers so you click on job seeker okay then it will load when it comes like this you are going to see job bank for job seekers they'll ask you to enter your email address because you do not have an account you have to sign up but if you have an account already if you have created let's say another time you come and you want to sign in that means that you are going to enter your email address over there so for today we are going to sign up so we click on the sign up here down here you can see it right we click on it all right so create an account job bank offers different tools for different needs so they have tools here okay building a resume doing this doing that doing that so the first account the standard account there are two types of account here standard account and a plus account with a standard account you are able to do this okay customize your search create job alert favorite jobs build a resume track your job activities and connect your account with job bank mobile app that means they have a mobile app and with the plus account you are able to do all this in addition to you getting match to jobs you let employers invite you to apply and you have to submit your um, application directly on job bank for those with the plus account okay and with a plus account they are going to ask for your email address and your social insurance number or the express entry point number if you do not have please go in for the standard account with a standard account they are going to ask for the email address okay and that one you can be able to customize your search create job alerts and a whole lot all right so we click on the standard account so they'll ask you to read the terms and conditions the reason why you are creating the account what you can do with the account okay so when you, after reading everything you click on i agree 
okay so terms and condition you click on i agree okay so after you click on i agree you see the step one user details so there are four steps in creating the job bank account so i'm going to take you through one after the other till we reach the stage four and that will be a successful completion so with a step one user details they are saying that in order to use job bank for job seekers every user is required to create an individual user account so you only create account for yourself not for someone else okay not for someone else so email they are asking for email so i'm going to input my email address over there so tips and gist tips and gist at um at gmail.com all right so i am done with my email address tips and gist at gmail.com so language i prefer english password they are giving some clues over here they are saying that the password should be at least eight characters long should have at least one uppercase letter at least one lowercase letter at least one number at least a special character example is apostrophe and it should be identical in both fields so the one you type here and the one you type here should be the same okay so um let me write my password here quickly so that i type it i don't want to forget my password so i have my password here ghana at 75 so capital g so that i meet my uppercase small h small a small n small a so ghana i have met my lowercase i've met my uppercase at okay the symbol at okay i have met my symbol to my special character 75 so i have met my how do we call it i have met the numbers and i have also met my eight characters long so i'm going to type same thing here capital g okay h a n a at 75 so you see that i have gotten everything that they have indicated here uppercase lowercase eight characters at least a number a special character and both identical in both password fields so i click continue it takes me to the second stage that is confirmation okay confirmation so they are asking you to enter a confirmation code so a confirmation email has just been sent to your inbox to continue please enter the confirmation code included in this email okay so that means we have to visit our email address or the email address that i entered over there the tips and just at gmail.com and see if they have truly sent the confirmation code and come and enter it over there so fast forward um, let me click on my gmail okay it's here okay job bank okay so your confirmation code is 81534 so i have to copy this confirmation code and come and paste it directly here okay so copy and paste i click continue you see so we move to section three section three is a series of questions okay security questions and answers you are going to choose your own question and you will give your own answer okay so please in order not to forget try and screenshot them and put them aside because should you forget your password you are going to answer some of the security questions to be able to log in so security question number one and um, what should i even choose what is your mother's middle name so i am going to type ama okay so display answer ama you can see Ama is my mother's middle name. Okay, question number two. Which one should I select? What is your father's middle name? Uh, my father's middle name is Atta. Okay, let me see Atta. It's an example. So A T T A, Atta. All right. Question number three. Um, what is the name of your first love? So the name of my first love is. <laughs> Are you guys sure that i'm going to enter the right person here i'm definitely going to lie to you <laughs> so let me say for instance um mavis okay so let's say mavis was my first love okay so display answer oh sorry 
Mavis. All right. Um, question number four is um the name of your first manager or boss. Okay, so let me say Cynthia. Let me see if I expect. Okay, so Cynthia is the name of my first manager or boss. The question number five. So you are going to choose the questions you can answer. Okay, the name of your oldest nephew. Um, let me say Joseph. So please, when you go there, you choose your own questions and you give your own answers. Okay, but make sure that you keep the questions that you selected in mind as well as the answers. So that one day, should you miss your password, you would need this question, security questions to log in. You click continue here. It takes you straight to authentication. Okay, that is stage four. So with the authentication, they'll ask you to enter your name and your postcode. All right. So with the name, you click here, Mr. If you're a miss or this, so whichever you select. So I'll select Mr. And with the name, I am going to enter my name. Okay, my first name and my last name. Okay. And my last name. All right, so that is it. So I said Elijah is my first name and Boache is my last name. So postal code, this is for those in Canada, okay? Postal code in Canada. Because you are not in Canada, you click here. I am not a Canadian resident. Immediately, you see that this will be blank. If you take this off, you can enter something over there. If you select it, it's going to be blank. So that you click finish, finish. So you can see here that automatically I have been logged in. Okay, so you can see Elijah Boachi. So it means that whatever I do here on this account, whatever happens on this account is in my name. So you can see a standard account. I can upgrade to that plus account if I have my social insurance number. That is when I move to Canada, I can um, upgrade it. Okay, so whatever you do here, Okay, to tell you the number of days you were active, the jobs you have saved or favorited. So we will do illustrations here. The jobs you have applied to, it, it should be here. You will see everything here. All right, so fast forward. We are going to learn how to log out and sign in. So let's say another time, now that you have the account, let's say you go somewhere and you pick somebody's phone or somebody's laptop. How do you sign in, okay? So I have signed out, okay, I have just signed out. So I am going to sign in again. Now that I have an account, we are not going to create an account. We are directly going to sign in. So sign in as a job seeker. So here they'll ask you the email address. So I'm going to type tips and gist. You remember that I use tips and gist to create the account. So I type tip and gist at gmail.com. Then I click on next. Then they ask me the password. My password was Ghana at 75. So Ghana at 75. Then I click sign in. Close. So they're asking me a security question. You remember that when I was creating the account, I selected some security questions. One of them was, what is what was the name of your first love? And I said Mavis. So I am going to enter Mavis over there. If I get it wrong, they are not going to allow me to enter. If I don't remember this, I can click here. Get a different question. Okay. Let me displace the answer. So Mavis. Okay. So click continue on. All right, so you can see that they have logged me in, okay? Or I have been logged in. So now I am coming to search for the job. Um, in fact, today I'm not going to do job section. I'm not going to give you the skills. I have done a video already. So please, if today is your first time, go and watch that video, how to hunt for Canada jobs, okay, sponsorship jobs. If you want to know how to search for the visa sponsorship jobs, want to know how to filter to know the companies that are recruiting from outside Canada or that companies who are looking for international applicants, then please go and watch that video, okay? 
Canada sponsorship jobs, visa sponsorship jobs. So today, let's say cleaner, cleaner, okay, cleaner. All right, cleaner. We click on search. Okay, so we have three thousand two hundred fifty-five. So I always tell you to um, filter, okay. So Canadian and international um, applicants. Okay, so it filtered to 744. That means that they need 744 companies are in need of cleaners. Okay, so we have heavy duty cleaner, cleaning supervisor, and a whole lot of cleaning jobs. So let's say I need this cleaning supervisor role. Okay, posted 13th of June. I click here. I look at the, their salary and everything. If I am interested, I meet their requirements, educational requirements and everything. I will save the job because today I'm not making application. I am just saving them. So you see this favorite here. I just click on it to favorite. Okay. So I click on it to favorite. You see that they have written favorited. All right. What it means is it has been added to my profile. So anytime that I need to apply, I don't have to come and search for this job again. I just go there to job bank and it will be there. So you can see that the love symbol has been colored. Yes, that means that I've added it to my favorites. I just scroll to another company. So let's say that this company, I go there, I look at them and I'm interested. I just favorite it. Okay. So let's say this company too, I'm interested. I look at them. Okay. Their location, their requirements and everything, secondary school, whatever. Okay. And I feel that I can work with them. I can also favorite. Okay. I can favorite here or if I don't favorite over there. And when you click back and it comes here, you can just favorite it here. Okay, so you can be selecting your favorite directly here, or you can do it when you click on the company to go on their platform to see whatever they have for you. So after favoriting, let's say cleaning, you favorited about 100 cleaning companies. Then you are interested in sales. Just click on sales and search through the companies you are interested. You favorite about 100 of them. So in addition to the cleaning, it becomes 200. Then let's say you have experience in customer service. You do a CV on that. You favorite about 100 companies looking for customer service representatives. Then that means that you have favorited like 300. So following this, you are coming to apply one after the other. So if tomorrow you apply like 10, you are tired, you sleep. The other day you come and you apply like 20, you are tired, you go off another day so that is the benefit of you creating a job bank account so how do you know where the jobs have been stored okay so let's say you favorited today another time you came and you want to know where those companies are hiding when you come on job bank and you sign in okay you look at here my jobs so you click here my jobs okay you click on my jobs you can see that all the companies that i favorited they are all here Okay, so I favorited four companies and they are here, right here. Okay, so that makes it very easy for me today because I didn't go to search to go and read. I have read a long time ago and I favorited them here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click them one after the other, pick their email address and send the recruiter a message. If you don't know how to send message through email, then it will be very difficult for you. Um, so let me make an example here or an illustration here. So if I want to send this um, recruiter a mail, I just scroll down here. I click here, show how to apply. Okay. So this is their email. So I apply by email. So I have to copy the email address. So what I do is after I copy the email address, I just move straight to my email account. Okay. I click compose. Okay. So compose to who? I just paste the employer there. Okay. So to this employer subject, I just type something like um application for a job vacancy okay application for a job vacancy and most of the time you can uh, write this in caps locks okay okay caps locks okay that is the um all right then right here down here you type whatever the introduction that you want to type okay so i am so so and so from this country i saw your job on um, vacancy on job bank and i am interested 
um i have this number of work experience let's say i have seven years work experience in cleaning and i think that i am the best candidate for your cleaning company okay so attach or find attach my cv my cover letter as well as my relevant documents so how do i attach the documents i just click here you can see here attach files so i click on it it brings me directly to my desktop okay so if i want to apply through a p um, a cv i just click here okay on this if this that is my cv i just uh, click on that and it upload if i want to attach my cover letter i click there again it brings me i look at where the cover letter is i click and it uploads again what you are supposed to do is to click send then you send a message to the recruiter that means you have applied for the job so when we say apply for a job by email that is how we do it so fast forward we are right back here after you are done okay you have to go back to my jobs okay then you go and do same for the other company so i have done this okay i have sent email to this recruiter so i just click it i have applied so once i click i have applied it moves it from there okay you see that now i have only three companies left to apply so that is how we do it okay so you keep applying you click on this company you go and take the email address you send your cv cover letter and your documents to that person and you come to the next company like that so a day you can do like 10 by one month you have like 300 applications okay one month will be 30 days so a day 10 one month you have like 300 applications all right so when you make a lot of applications you will increase your chances of getting the job either than that if you say you are applying to only two companies you are not better than the thousands people applying for the job okay they might call other people and leave you and you come and tell me that job bank is not real meanwhile people are getting companies on job bank so who is not real is it you or job bank all right so please you do that and you apply so let's say i have done that for this company too i click here i have applied it moves the company out of the system okay so i'm left with two companies so like that so let's say that you selected or you saved like 300 companies and every day you are applying like 10 10 10 10 by the end of the 30 days you have applied for all the jobs you have saved in your um profile okay all right if you want to know the jobs that you have applied even though they are not here it doesn't mean that they have deleted it you see this place applied and you see this place favorites Okay, so favorites are those you are yet to apply and applied is those you have already done so you click on this applied okay those that you applied will just come so you can see applied i have applied for this i've applied for that okay so that is how you can just trace or track the companies you have applied to so all the companies you have applied if you want to know if why the reason why they are not calling you what you are supposed to do is to let's say this company you click on it okay when you click on it and their vacancy has elapsed okay then you know that now they are calling people so if you don't they don't call you it means that uh, probably uh, you didn't make it so this company for instance is ending this um 15th of july okay 15th of july and we are still in june so that means if you apply today you have to wait till this 15th of july before you can say that they selected me or not okay so that is how you have to search if um the vacancy time has already expired if that expired you can give yourself one more week or two more weeks if you don't hear from them then you can just delete them from your system because they, they didn't call you so that is how it works you favoriting the jobs to apply later yes here you are this is exactly how to create a job bank account once you have the account you can log in and log out anytime I demonstrated how to save the jobs so now you don't have to worry you can just put one day aside and hunt for let's say 50 jobs just take your time and go through the companies and save them to your profile so that another time when you have your cv your cover letter as well as your relevant documents you just go on job bank directly to your profile pick the companies that you saved and start applying to those companies after watching this video, if you still have challenges in creating the job bank profile, please leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is free of charge. YouTube will not take you a penny. It is free. Just click on the subscribe button and give a subscription. When you do that, anytime I post a video, you'll get a notification. Thank you. Bye-bye. 
Good day guys, uh, this is Tips and Gist. I am here today to share with you how to search for Canada jobs that is going to end you with a visa sponsorship. Basically, we're going to discuss about Canada visa sponsorship jobs. People have been asking me, where can I look for sponsorship jobs in Canada? What are some of the websites? Yes, there are numerous websites out there. We have the Indeed Canada, the Jura, Monster, Job Bank Canada is also there. Most of the time, I recommend Job Bank to a lot of people because Job Bank is affiliated to the Canada.ca. That is the portal where you can access your visas. So technically, the Government of Canada website. So if Job Bank is affiliated to this Government of Canada website, what it means is no scammer can go to advertise their job there because as companies are advertising their vacancies, a lot of fraudsters or scammers will also find their way to some of these websites. So if you are not lucky and you go to register with some of these fraudsters, you might lose money. Job Bank I recommend most of the time because of the affiliation with the Canada.ca. Okay, so today we are going to learn a lot about how to hunt for jobs on the Canada Job Bank. Please, when you go on the website, the first thing you are going to see is a notification saying that most of the jobs there you do not qualify as an international applicant so what you are supposed to know how to filter to get only jobs that you can apply as an international applicant or somebody not living in canada in this video i'm going to teach you that tips also i'm going to teach you how to recognize verified jobs some of the jobs are verified others are not so once we see jobs that are verified jobs that are meant for international applicants the next is how to apply most of these employers will ask you to email them others will also tell you to apply directly on job bank if it is the email option that means you are supposed to pick the email address and message the recruiter together with your cv your cover letter as well as other vital documents and some of the jobs will require a degree or diploma or probably high school certificate so if they are asking that means you have to attach it to your cv to send it to them others to tell you no degree that means you don't need any certificates another part we're going to look at is the english language requirement most of the jobs will say english language requirements others will say english or french if it is english if you are shs graduate you can use your high school certificate that is your yek or the wasi because you did english language as a subject during high school okay if you are somebody who await a degree or master's then you can use your english proficiency letter as a proof okay those with standard ielts you can also use that in fact they prefer ielts examination the standard ielts examination ielts okay examination they prefer that if you have it fine if you have tofel tofel too is another examination if you have it they accept that as well so from the english language requirements there are some special jobs like driving where you must approve your driving license if you have all these requirements when you pick up the email address you have to give an introduction if you are able to send this to the employer what you are supposed to do is to wait for some time they are going to respond to you you have to note that because you didn't apply directly on job bank you are not going to receive an automated message okay or a message of response immediately if it is job bank then probably they are going to email you for a successful application done but if you apply directly to the employer through the email portal you might not receive email as soon as possible you have to wait for them to just receive or collect every application once they close the application they will begin to review every cv or every application then they will start contacting those who are qualified okay so give yourself some time please your cv must be canada standard so go and read about how to prepare a canada standard cv it should be canada standard no picture on the cv canada do not accept that because of discrimination okay they believe in diversity so please do not put a picture on your cv okay there are other tips that i'll give later in a different video about canada cv so please prepare a canada standard cv for your application fast forward let's go straight to jobbankcanada.ca and learn how to apply for jobs on that website i will be back welcome back guys we are here on google and what we are going to do is to search for canada job bank go on that website and look for jobs so fast forward i'm going to type canada job bank here canada job bank all right 
then i search for it okay please take a note of this logo okay it shows that you're on the right website this logo all right and they are saying that if you are not legally authorized to work in canada you can't apply for every job on job bank that means that there are some jobs on job bank that you cannot apply as an international applicant so that is why i'm here to assist you to know the jobs that are meant for you let's click on the job bank all right and go on that website okay so we are right here on their website there is a warning what is the warning does it it looks like you are visiting job bank from outside canada yes i am outside canada so that means that they are able to detect where you are applying from they are saying that if you are not legally authorized to work in canada you can't apply for every job the underlying word here is every job that means there are some that we can apply visit job bank page for foreign candidates to review your options to find jobs from employers who are recruiting outside canada so that is what we are coming to do today we are coming to look for employers who are recruiting outside canada we are international applicants we are outside canada so we are looking for those employers all right let's close it when we come here we are going to see the government of canada written here as well as the canadian flag indicating that we are on the right website we are also going to see the job bank here there's a sign in option here please sign in it is going to help you you can search for the jobs without signing in but if you sign in it gives you a lot of opportunities please sign in using your ircc account if you do not have ircc account then please create one okay i did a video about how to apply for canada work permit and i explained how to create an ircc account go and watch that video and you will know how to create an account after creating the account use that logins to come and sign in all right so after signing in one of the benefits is you are able to apply for the job directly on canada job bank again you are able to save some jobs come back and apply later okay so let's say you were going through the job but there are requirements you are not meeting it now or your cv is not matching what they are requesting you can save it go and prepare a cv come and apply another day when you come here they have written your career starts here here they have written what example cook that means what job are you looking for so an example is a cook so any job that you are hunting for just type the job over there where okay where which part of canada do you want to locate all right or do you want to work then we have the advanced the browse options over here all right so for example if we are looking for a driving job we are going to type a driver okay and we click on the browse or the search button here okay so driver in various locations 5816 results but let's not forget that they are saying that we cannot apply for every job here so how do we know which of the jobs are meant for we international applicants when you look on the left hand side of the screen as we are scrolling you will be seeing some options over there come down to where you will see intended applicants click on it click on the plus okay click on the plus you will see first canadian and authorized workers you are not part you are not a canadian you don't have a work permit you are not part there's another option canadians and international candidates so we are here okay we are part of this option international candidates so at first you see that they are saying 5816 results but as soon as we filter we click here it will filter as soon as it filters the results will decrease to 1295 that means that out of the 5000 jobs we are able to apply for only 1200 jobs okay so that is how to filter for international applicants all right if you don't do that you may apply for a job that is not meant for you and you are not going to get any result another thing that you have to notice here is the date posted okay so the jobs are there as you are looking at the job titles be looking at the dates they were posted some were posted in march others june so this job for instance was posted 12th of june that is uh, last two days 
okay so this is a current job 9th of june is here so please look at the date posted look for the current jobs when you are done with that then you can look for other jobs as well okay there's a favorite sign here okay that's love the love symbol here it means you have to favorite the job or you can save the job and apply later so as i explained if you have an ircc account that you have signed in then if you are interested in this job but do not have a cv you can favorite it and come back later another thing that we have to take note is the logo here as well as the verification button it shows that the employer posted directly on job bank so let's use this job as an example we click on it wait for it to load okay here we are so truck driver is a verified job posted 8th of june 2023 it was posted by mnh transport limited that is the company you are going to live here okay you are going to live here in canada that is the location you are going to be paid 27.50 an hour that is your wage so 27.50 canadian dollars every hour you are going to work 40 hours per week so if you want to know how much you'll be taking a month you have to multiply this 40 by 27.50 to get a week then you multiply the results by four to get your monthly salary it is a permanent employment and a full-time job you are going to start as soon as possible they need six drivers so anytime you see six vacancies it means six people okay so this job is a driving job so they need six drivers it's a verified job and this is the job bank id or the verification number all right overview they are saying that they need english language proof so something to show that you can speak english so if you are shs graduate you can use your yek or your wasi if you have written ielts or tofel they accept that all right education they are saying secondary school to bracket high school graduation certificate so your high school certificate they will take it that is the minimum if you have a diploma a degree masters or whatever they will accept that as well experience they are going to train you so um they do not need much from that side responsibilities your tax what you are going to do as a driver with them you are going to drive as part of a two-person team or convoy you should be able to perform brake adjustment transport and handle dangerous goods so please read through all these tasks okay and try and um feature some on your cv don't write it verbatim paraphrase in your own ways okay experience and specialization they are saying that after training you should be able to have experience in all these sections okay so documentation you should be able to use the driver logbook trip report communication using the gps transportation a whole lot okay they are going to train you for all this before they start working with you benefit travel insurance benefit is you are going to get a travel insurance okay who can apply they are saying that the employer accept application from canadian citizens and permanent or temporary residents of Canada. The second one is other candidates with or without Canadian work permits. So we are here. We are international applicants. We don't have a Canadian work permit. So we are here. So that means that we are eligible. How to apply? You should apply by email. So you copy this email address and message the employer that I am so so and so from this country i went on job bank calendar and i saw this vacancy i read through the requirements eligibility requirements and i think that i am the best candidate for this position attaches my cv my cover letter as well as other relevant documents what are the other relevant documents that is your high school certificate your english language proof so please send it as well somebody will say that um why don't i send my cv then later they will request for the other documents well that is for you but i would advise that you send them as well so that you do not waste time because it is a competition you are not the only person applying this job is being advertised until 22nd of this month so today is 14th 22nd they are going to close the application so 
in case you apply for this job tomorrow that will be 15th or another day 16th or so please wait till 22nd before you get a reply from the employer all right let's go and um, search for other driving jobs we did about truck drivers let's look at those for bus drivers as well okay there's a bus driver oh may may okay just last month okay first of may so let's click on this job bus driver it's a verified job posted by this company okay mm, on the first may this is where you're going to live in canada you're going to be paid 21.60 canadian dollars every hour you're going to work 35 hours to 40 hours per week it's a casual employment okay not a permanent but it's a full time you're going to work full time so that means that anytime it's not a permanent job it's a casual employment you're going to work evening night morning so any of the shifts they can allocate you they need only one person okay and you're going to start as soon as possible so that means that this job is very competitive because if thousand people are going to apply that means your chances of getting is one in thousand all right they need english language as well so secondary school certificate then one year to two years experience so you have to prove to them that you have been driving a bus because this is a bus driver you have been driving a bus for one year to two years or more than that okay this are your tax they didn't say any other truck or anything they say bus so please don't go and say i've been driving a truck you are not qualified they are saying buses all right you should be able to communicate with passengers dispatch them deal with public a whole lot all right when we go here they are saying that you need a valid driving license so please when you are sending your cv to them make a copy of your driving license and attach to it the employer accepts application from we are here okay other candidates without a canadian work permit through email so we can apply directly here we copy the email address and send the recruiter a mail okay we have to wait till 29th of this month before we get a reply because that is when they are going to close this vacancy all right and um, what work what other job should we search for on my list here i have care assistant sales forklift plumber security chef factory worker mechanic farm in fact i cannot do all the jobs but as we are using some as an example you can as well do yours and apply by yourself just look at how i am doing for the other jobs and learn a lot from it okay so another job that we can search for is care assistant care assistant okay let's search for care assistant jobs all right i am seeing three eight eight nine results let's filter it oh it's already filtered wow so there are a lot of care assistant jobs in canada we have the child care worker assistant um physician assistant health care assistant and a whole lot so you have to look through and see what you qualify to apply you know that all these jobs be, you need certificates okay not just academic certificates but something like a care training certificate so getting these jobs without a care training certificate is sometimes uh, uh, not easy to come by so if you know that you don't have experience in this care job you cannot prove certificates then don't even go for it so let's use this as an example continuing care assistant all right posted on 16th of may okay this is the address where you're going to stay and work you're going to be paid 17 canadian dollars per hour and you'll be working 30 to 40 hours a week it's a permanent job you can either get a weekend flexible hours to be determined or even morning shifts you work as soon as possible you are going to get health benefits long-term benefits they need 10 people wow 10 vacancies 10 people this is the job bank code your languages is english language have to prove then they need a college 
or CEGEP or equivalent. So you see that I told you that getting some of these jobs is not that easy. So a college is probably a, a college in a healthcare, let's say a, a certificate in nursing or certificate in care assistantship or something. All right. Then experience is one year to two years experience, working experience. That means that, um, meaning that you have been working for more than a year. Credentials, you should get a first aid certificate. I told you CPR certificate, <laughs> continuing care assistant certificate. That is what I told you. So their certificates and licenses are a lot. You should meet all these requirements. You have to also get criminal check results and um, driver's uh, license check as well. So you have to be able to drive. Benefits is your health um, care plan as well as a group insurance benefit. The registered retirement savings plan. Okay. Who can apply? We can apply. Okay. We can apply. Show how to apply. Let's click on that. All right. They are giving us a lot of options. We can apply directly on Job Bank if we have the IRCC account. We can apply directly by a mail, email. So we copy the email and send the recruiter a message. Okay, in person. So you can also walk to them directly if you are in Canada and submit your forms. Okay, include this reference number in your application. So if you are applying, please reference, put this reference number. Okay. They are going to ask you some questions such as are you currently legally able to work in canada please don't let this question scare you they just want to know that if you are a canadian citizen or you have a permanent or temporary residence in canada or you are with a work permit or you are without okay so they just want to know where you are applying from so that they can help you if you tell them that no that means that they know that before they can employ you they have to give you a sponsorship and that is the main reason why you are here on the internet is for the visa sponsorship so tell them that you are not legally able to work in canada but you have experience okay so what is your highest study um, so what is your highest level of study you have completed so probably a certificate or a diploma or something okay not high school something related to healthcare they are going to accept so please for the nurses care assistants carers who are having training certificates please this is your chance they need 10 people send message to the employer or apply directly on job bank if you have the ircc account there are a lot of care assistant jobs over here so you have to please look through if you see ones that you think you qualify then you can apply to them okay all right our next job let's look at sales sales attendant sales manager or sales supervisor sales associate okay okay so there are 1859 sales jobs it has been filtered okay so with the sales associate the sales associate is just like a sales assistant or attendance and this was posted 14th of this month so let's look at it um okay 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 so this is the company and this is where you are going to live in canada they're going to pay you 16 dollars per hour and you're going to work 35 hours it's a permanent job they need only one person so you can see that it's competitive languages english language high school certificates okay um experience they are going to train you so you do not need much the tax you have to read through and capture most on your CV. Okay, who can apply? Canadian citizens as well as people without work permit. So you can also apply. Just copy this email address and tell the recruiter that you are interested in the vacancy. It will be advertised until 14th of next month. So please, when you send them a mail, wait till that time before you expect them to contact you. Um, another job here is um, sales supervisor. So if you think you qualify for the supervisor role, you can go for that. The salary is higher, 24 Canadian dollars an hour. Okay, let's go down here. Okay, sales assistant. Sales assistant, let's look at it. 
Oh, okay. They need one person, but the salary is higher, 23 Canadian dollars an hour. You're going to work 40 hours, but the requirements are different. English language, college, not secondary school, college. Two years experience. The first one was no experience. So this is a two year experience. Okay. Then um, the tax you have to read through and capture most on your CV. Okay, you are going to get some benefits like commission, the pension uh, plan. You should email this recruiter, okay? Just copy the email address and send them a mail. It would be advertised until 28th of this month. So please be fast. If you do not have a CV, prepare some and apply. Okay, so um, we are done with the sales. Let's look at a forklift. Forklift operator or forklift driver. Forklift. Oh, just 11 results. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so they have the mechanic and they have the operator. So if you think you're a mechanic, forklift mechanic, you go for that. If you are the operator, that is the driver, then you go for this. So this is March. Let's ignore that and go to um, current ones, June. Okay, June 5th is here. We click on it. You can as well um, go for the March. But what I was saying is if the job has been there for a long time, it means a lot of people have already applied for it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So this job was posted 5th of June. You are going to live here it's 18 canadian dollars an hour 35 hours a week they need two people okay requirements english language no degree so this one even if you don't have shs senior high school certificates you qualify for this experience they are going to train you responsibilities so you look at all this then you capture most of them on your cv they have some other skills like a team player, positive attitude, hard working. Please try and include some um, in your CV. How to apply either by email. So you copy the email address and send the recruiter a mail or by post office. So mail them through post office. This here is their postal address. So you can send it through post office. Okay. Advertise until next month fit. So you have some time to prepare and um, apply. Okay. There are a lot of forklift operating jobs here. So you can, wow, there's one here. Look at the salary, $44 an hour. Which company is that? Let's um, go through and see if we can meet their requirement. It was posted by this company. It's a verified job. This is the address. You are going to be paid 44.7 Canadian dollars an hour. 40 hours a week too. Wow. If you want to know how much you are going to take a month, you multiply the hours, the 40 hours by the wage. Okay, 44.71 hourly. So you multiply it. The result is for a week. So you then multiply again by four to get a month's salary. Okay. They need English language, senior secondary school certificates experience is two years to three years you see that the first one was no experience but this one two years to three years and the first one too they didn't require for a, a certificate but this they said senior secondary school certificate responsibilities um there are a lot here so please you have to read through canadian citizens can apply we can also apply um you can send them an email okay so just copy the email address and message the recruiter the advertisement will end this month 22nd so you have some few days less than like eight days more to send them a mail so please be fast okay so approximately a week just prepare a canada standard cv for a forklift truck operator and um message them just search how to um write a canada standard cv if you cannot send me a mail okay go on my tiktok bio there is an email option over there click on it to um take you to email write me a message that you need a canada standard cv and a cover letter you can copy this link okay and attach it to it so that i know that you need this job then i'll be able to feature some of their requirements in your cv all right 
I, it is not for free. I charge 15 pounds for the CV. Cover letter is five pounds, so 20 pounds in all. If you can afford, you write me a message. If you cannot afford, please don't write a message. Go online and search how to write a CV. Try your best and prepare a CV. Most of the websites will ask you to pay before you download the CV. So take notes of that. All right, right after forklift, let's look at um, plumber. Plumber, 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 plumber. So, wow, 78 plumbing jobs. Is it filtered? Okay. All right, let's look at the salary range or the wage. They are taking 34 Canadian dollars an hour. 34, 34, 34. Okay, 35 is here. 40 is here. Wow. 26, 24. Okay, so uh, basically 34 is the most. But let's look at the date they were posted, okay? This is a uh, first June. So this is closer. Let's look at this company. Okay, so it was posted by this company. Yeah, this is where you are going to stay. 34 Canadian dollars an hour. You are going to work 32 hours a week. It's a permanent employment full-time job they need two people it's a verified this is the job id okay languages they are saying english language requirement then your senior high school certificates two years or more experience okay these are your responsibilities so capture most of them in your cv okay credentials you need a plumber trade certificate if you don't have it they will not call you okay then you have to send them a mail through this so just copy it and email the recruiter that you are interested in the job vacancy they are advertising till first of next month so please that is the deadline let's look at other plumbing opportunities okay there are a lot here i just need closer ones after um after you are done with the closer ones, you can apply for those long ones. Okay, long posted long ago. Posted long ago. Okay, this is 6th of June. 34 pounds. Sorry, 34 dollars. Okay, posted by this company, 34 Canadian dollars, 40 hours a week. Okay. They need only one person, so it's very competitive. English language secondary school two years or more experience okay so these are some of the things that you have to note and capture in your cv okay they need um team player a creates uh, client focus some of these things should appear in your cv okay show how to apply okay only through email so you have to copy this email and send to the a message to the recruiter that you are interested okay so there are a lot of plumbing jobs some are calculated in wages others i saw a salary range here okay so this is a salary so the whole year you are going to take sixty-five thousand to eighty-five thousand canadian dollars a year so you see to be negotiated you are working 40 to 44 hours a week they need four people so wow you can you can try your luck okay but let's look at what they need here english language proof then other three certificates or diploma so not high school okay so diploma or its equivalent and three years to five years experience wow wow this tax please read through and capture most in your cv okay hmm. look at the certificates that they need Backflow prevention certificate, plumber tray certificate, first aid certificate, driving license, that's class 3 or D. So you can see that the higher the salary, the more um, their requirements, okay? Just copy this email, okay? And send the recruiter a message. But please include this in your introduction. They are saying that, are you available for shifts or on call work? So the shift is like morning shift, afternoon shift, night shift. The on call is sometimes you don't even have a shift they can just call you so they want to know if you are available because it means their jobs are mostly emergency so you have to be available anytime and are you willing to relocate to canada for this position so include that in your introduction that i am so so and so in this country 
applying for this vacancy okay i saw it on job bank and i'm interested attaches my cv my cover letter blah 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 i am available for any shift or core work i'm also willing to relocate to canada for this position just tell them that and they will consider you deadline is 14th of next month so please be fast and prepare a cv okay or message me for a cv i said my email is on my tiktok bio so just go on my tiktok profile you see an email section over there just send me a mail that you need a canada standard cv the price is 15 pounds so convert to your currency if you need a cover letter that is also five pounds okay so that will be 20 pounds for cv and cover letter please be prepared before you send me a message okay um security that is our next job security security Ooh. they have 314 security jobs is it filtered okay so we have the guard security security guard security guard security guard all right i think that is what we are interested in right uh, we have the may may march okay june is here 19 dollars an hour okay let's look at that posted by genesis security that is the company all right so um they need four people four people and they are going to um pay 19 dollars an hour 40 hours a week it's a permanent job you can work day evening flexi hours morning anytime they need english language requirements secondary school certificates they are going to train you on experience so they do not need much for that okay so these are your tax okay look at it very well and try and feature some in your cv patrol assigned areas produce reports and a whole lot credentials security guard license so you should register with a security company in your home country and get a certificate and apply okay if you have some already so you can use that to apply all right show how to apply click on that by email okay by email so just copy this email and a message the recruiter or you can post your cv and your other documents cover letter and everything to their office this is their postal code okay they are advertising till 8th of next month so let's do another example for the security guard then we move on to our next job okay one more example i know a lot are interested in this security um, opportunities let's look for current ones that is informatic security consultant if you are interested in that you can apply as well system security analyst uh, wow a lot of security specialists are here specialty jobs okay 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 this is may assistant um guard security security guard okay so this is the address they need 15 people so you can see some of these security jobs they recruit they do mass recruitment so you can please apply okay just get what they need let's look at it english language secondary school or senior high school certificate the experience they will train you just check this once okay the tax and include most in your cv um credential security guard license how are you going to get this okay you should um register with any security agency in your home country that they'll give you a certificate or a license to operate okay most of them train for three months or so so you can talk to them have some training okay and come back but the deadline for this particular job is 13th of next month so those who are having the um license already then you can apply okay show how to apply you have to apply by email so just copy the mail and send it to them that send them a message to their mail that you are interested send a cv as well as your license and other things okay let's move to the next job should it be chef or a cook chef 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 either a restaurant chef a hotel chef any chef okay. so 211 results let's look okay it has been filtered chef 
okay they need two people two people this is your location okay you are going to be paid 19.50 hourly 40 hours a week they need english language senior high school that is the minimum if you have higher ones you can send it to them experience is one year or above they will accept it okay all right you see the tax please read through and um capture most of them in your cv okay all right who can apply canadian citizen can apply other candidates can apply show how to apply just click on that by email so you just send them a mail that you are interested in that job so that is for the chef another more example for the chef then we move on to our next one chef 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 i need latest ones okay this is 8th of june okay posted by this company this is the location you are going to take 25 dollars an hour 30 to 40 hours a week um two vacancies those who do not understand this if they said you are going to work 30 to 40 hours don't take that me i don't want to um get tired so i'll go for the 30. the number of hours you have to multiply to know the amount you take a week so if you are working 30 hours it will affect your salary if you are working 40 hours you are going to get more so that is how it is so please when you go negotiate for higher salary a higher a um, uh, more hours to get a higher salary okay so two vacancies they are looking for two people english language senior high school three years to five years experience wow just read through all these requirements and capture most of them in your cv send them is it a mail okay so either a mail email or you send them post through post office to this um address postal address okay our next job is factory worker factory worker factory worker factory worker i got 93 results is it filtered okay they have the factory helper um factory helper okay they call it helper or libra factory in manufacturing libra factory in manufacturing um general libra manufacturing okay okay so let's look at the helper and we will come back to the um libra the helper 5th june you are going to take 19 dollars an hour let's look at their requirements they need two people okay they need um english language requirements no degree so this one even if you didn't complete shs you can work experience to no experience you can okay just capture most of this tax in your cv and send them a message okay send them a message so copy the email or post your um, application to this um, postal code all right let's go back and see the for the libra to their requirements uh, in the manufacturing companies okay you are going to take 17 dollars an hour for 40 hours a week they need two people that one too is the same thing english language no degree they will train you copy this and send them okay on in your cv send them a message okay just copy the email and send the recruiter a message that you are interested all right um let's look at mechanic mechanic then i will look at farm farm workers or farm job then we will end for this discussion so mechanic first i'll just do one example then um, i'll do so mechanic is it filtered let's look at the field yeah it's filtered they have 2000 results wow so track mechanic car mechanic automobile mechanic is here mechanic track mechanic automobile is here so please you look through different companies have their job descriptions so you look through the latest ones this is 14th of june okay you are going to take 34 dollars an hour let's look at that job and see their requirements so 34 dollars an hour you're going to work 35 hours a week they need only two people english language senior secondary school um two years or more experience these are your responsibilities and some skills that they need in your cv 
as well so please send the recruiter an email if you think you qualify all right you think you qualify just send the recruiter a mail that you are interested in the track mechanic um this is also a car mechanic from a different company with a different salary 27 canadian dollars an hour for 35 hours a week they need two people so this one english language secondary school they are saying experience they will train you so you call you see this tax all right you take a look at it send the recruiter a mail okay just copy it and send the recruiter a mail so there are a lot of mechanic jobs is 2000 so please look at how i am doing it and try and apply okay so what you are going to do is if you are interested in this job but you do not have a cv you have to just save it and i told you that before you can save just use log in with your ircc account okay before you can save the jobs okay 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 let's look at our last job our last job farm job farm farm job they have 349 farm jobs so they have the farm supervisor libra okay farm libra farm supervisor um i'm sure most of you go for the libra work okay because farm hunt um supervisor jobs are not easily to get especially when you're not in canada so please go for the libra jobs okay let's click on this posted 6th of june okay this month uh, posted by this farming company okay they need 30 people so you can see that the farm work they need a lot of people so this one is easy to get they need 30 people all you have to show is english language secondary school certificate one year to two years experience in farming okay look at this so look at the work um, beef cattle um, broiler chicken farming duck um, a whole lot so please try and capture uh, uh, most of this okay other vegetables so they have it's a very big company okay so they can take you to the poultry and take you to the cattle uh, field they can also take you to the um, vegetable or watermelon farming okay then you are going to work in rural areas certificate is first aid certificate so please go and do a first aid course online and get a certificate all right experience you should have some of these okay experiences just try and feature some um on your cv how to apply let's click on that you can apply through email but you should be able to answer some of these questions when you are giving your introduction that i am available for shift on call i'm available for the advertised start date so what is the start date the start date is they are closing um 20th of this month wow today is um 14th so please rush and uh, prepare a cv and apply okay apply um previous experience in the field of employment so you have to show that um, you have experience in farming already okay do you have required certificates that is the first aid certificate do you have it you have to say that yes you have it your highest um, level of education that is they need senior high school so if you are you have a, a degree or something it's, it's advised that you send that as your highest okay the minimum should be your senior secondary school so um this is one of the farm jobs let's look at others let's look at others um these farm jobs they used to do mass recruitment so let's look at worker farm worker let's look at this how many members they need how many people that they need they need five people okay it's 20 hours they also need english language but this one if you don't have any certificate so those who are not having high school certificate you can go for this experience is just one year okay one year or more all right okay responsibilities so look at all these tax and try and capture some in your cv and apply okay you click here and uh, get so you can apply through email okay send copy it and send it to them or post it or if you're in canada just walk in person and give your application to them they are working between 6 p.m to 7 uh, p.m each day so you can get them 
6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Go just use the address, work there, and give them your application if you're in Canada already. Um, let's look at other farm jobs before we end this um, discussion. Let's look at other farm jobs. Bra work. Okay, farm Libra is here. Is here. They need two people, only two people. Okay, so this one to no degree, they are going to train you. Okay, they only need English language proof. So handling animals, this all these tasks should be there. Should cap capture most of them in your CV. Show how to apply. You can apply directly on Job Bank if you have the IRCC account. If you don't know how to uh, create that account, please. Go and watch my video, the Canada Work Permit video, and know how to create that account because that same account is what you're going to use it to apply for your work permit after you have gotten this contract. Okay, you can send them an email um, for them to um, consider you. All right, then they are saying that when you are applying, try and um, include some of these things in your introduction. That are you willing to relocate their previous experience? okay reference attesting experience so you have to include that as well so guys i have covered a lot but i cannot cover all the jobs so what you are going to do is to just type your job over there and follow the steps filter to make sure that you are applying to the right employer after filtering consider the jobs the latest ones first before you go to those that they posted long time ago okay apart from that too, when you get there consider the salary if you are okay with the salary as well as the hours per week because if you have more hours your salary will go higher okay also consider the number of vacancies that they are looking for the higher if they want more numbers it means that your possibility of getting the job will be higher all right then after that also consider their requirements the english language academic requirements as well as the experience consider that if you fall into it then you know that the job is best for you hello guys welcome to my youtube channel this is tips and gist if today is your first time please click on the subscribe button because you are going to get lots of videos on this platform it is free to subscribe you are going to get notifications anytime i post a video so please kindly do that. Today in this video, we are going to treat how to create IRCC account. IRCC is Immigration, Refugee, Citizenship, Canada. So it is you creating an account with the government of Canada. And with this account, you'll be able to apply for any type of visa. Let's say you need a visit visa, you need a work permit, a study permit, refugee, whatever you have to use this IRCC account to apply. So I'm going to demonstrate how you can create the IRCC account all by yourself. Just get a laptop, a data, sit in the room and start your application. So we are right here on Google and we are going to the Canada.ca. Okay, their portal. So I type Canada versus here, Canada visa, and I search for Canada visa. I am going to see Canada.ca. Okay, you have to take a look at this logo. There are a lot of Canada.ca. There are duplicates website. People have created duplicated websites. Okay, so you have to look at this Canada.ca with this logo. Then you click on it. Okay, it brings you to the Canada website. This is where we apply for all types of visas. So you click here, immigration and citizenship. You are going to see all the categories. So visit is here, work visa or work permit is here immigrate is here so study permit this is where you have to do that citizenship all right so how do you apply for a visa just like facebook you can't send for a request without creating a facebook account right the same way you cannot apply for a visa on this portal without creating ircc account i always tell you that ircc i is for immigration r is for refugee c is for citizenship and another c is for canada so you have to create or sign in if you already have an account. So sign in to your IRCC account. With that, you are able to start an application. That is a visa application. Whether visit, whether tour, whether study, whether family, whatever business. If you want to start an application, you have to sign in. 
it also allow you to even pay for your application so the visa fees biometric fees and everything with you being able to sign in you are able to make payment you also get messages related to your application so let's say you apply and the embassy wants to send you biometric dates and those kind of confirmation emails um, after you signing in you are able to get it you are able to check the status of your application so you can track if you apply and you are not getting feedback from them you can be tracking your application to know where it has got into you can also update your information so let's say you apply for a visa and you have additional information to add you can update your information you can do that all right so there you can sign in with the gc key or the sign in partner sign in partner is for canadians because they are asking for online canadian banking information that is if you have an online bank account but if you don't have online canada bank account then it means that you have to use the gc key method okay to sign in but since we are not having an account then we have to register so don't have an account we click here register so it's the same thing it's either you register with a gc key or you register with a sign in partner i've already explained this so we are going to choose gc key because we don't have a canadian banking account okay so we click here register with a gc key all right so welcome to gc key sign in but still we are signing up because we don't have an account so you look at here there's a sign up here we click here sign up all right they'll ask you terms and condition they'll ask you to read the terms and condition after you are done you click i accept they'll ask you to create your username so um you make your username easy for you to remember so i just type tips and just um okay so tips and this is my username let me see if they are going to accept it so the username they are saying that it's a mean mi minimum of eight characters it may contain this that 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 and that okay so let's see i just choose tips and just let's see if they are going to accept that okay so they accepted that the password to they are saying eight to sixteen characters it shouldn't contain any consecutive numbers it should be a valid characters lowercase uppercase digits password match so i am going to say use my um the password that i use for my um how do you call it job bank account so ghana capital g capital g h a n a at 75 okay so I have gotten all this. Okay, eight characters. I've gotten it. No consecutive numbers. Valid characters. Lowercase, uppercase, and the case. I have everything. So I'm going to repeat the password for it to match. So I've met all their requirements here. So now I can continue. So I click here. And they're asking me security questions. I think the first one you will select your question and answer but the subsequent ones they have stated the questions over there so you are going to answer them so let's select the first question um what is what was my first pet's name so my first pet was a dog and the name was action okay action all right a memorable person i will say my mom beatrice okay then the hint is mom okay mom all right the memorable date so 2017 then the month is august so 08 then the day is 15th okay so that will be my graduation date graduation um date all right my university graduation date okay so i click continue now they are asking for email address so i'm going to type my email address here tips and gist at gmail.com then i repeat it here tips 
and gist at gmail dot com then i click continue okay so i click continue here and they are saying that they have sent a confirmation code to my email address tips and gist at gmail.com so i'm supposed to go to my email and see if the code is actually there so fast forward this is my email let me see okay so you can see government of canada please verify your gc key so this is telling you that it is straight from the government of canada okay it is straight from the government of canada and you cannot apply for a visa without this ircc account so you click here you can see canada hello tips and gist okay so this is the verification code so i copy it they are asking you not to reply this email please don't reply the government okay so i copy it and i go there to input it here okay so i paste it and i click continue so email recovery complete so you have successfully added email recovery option now you click continue welcome tips and gist to help protect your information please remember to sign out and close your browser before leaving this computer unattended so once we have verified our email address now we are coming to create the account okay so terms and condition you read and you click here i accept once you accept then you have to enter your given names here so that should be the name on your passport okay that should be the name on your passport so that it can be related to your applications if you're applying for a visit a school or whatever the name on your passport please enter it over there okay and for security reasons i'm not going to enter my name over there i'm not going to enter let me choose another name okay let me say evans evans is an english name right so that is the given names so please if you see given names is just like your first name okay then your surname is your last name so evans watch okay that is not my name actually but for security reasons the email address you have to use that email address okay so the one that you use for the verification okay then here you select the language english then you click here continue so i've been able to sign in as ivan Boachi and they're asking some security questions over here but here you are going to type your question and you are going to answer okay this stage so first question what is your mother's first name okay what is your mother's first name that is my first security question with a question mark the second security question what is your father's first name okay that is my second security question and the third one what is the name of your pets okay then the fourth question should be where are you from that is your hometown okay so i have just selected some security questions so you can just frame yours okay but make sure that you add a question mark otherwise the system is not going to pick so my mother's first name is beatrice my father's first name is paul these are all examples okay these are all examples so you have to do yours and um, what is the name of your pet action action is a dog okay then where are you from my hometown i will say konongo okay konongo so i click continue okay so you can see this is ivan's watches account okay i selected my name to be ivan's watch so you can see that every application that i have done here they are saying no data in the table because i have not done any application okay then if you want to continue an application 
let's say i was applying for a visit visa but i didn't finish the other time it will be here so i can continue okay so basically this is inside my profile okay just like you go on tiktok your tiktok profile or you go on facebook your facebook profile so that is my um visa profile okay my visa account profile so when we talk about you creating ircc account that is what it means okay is the profile where you can track all your visas where you can apply for the visas and you can even continue application if you didn't uh, finish okay if you start an application and you don't finish you can continue on another time so there's nothing here because this is a new account you can just start the application okay so guys i will end here this is basically how to create the ircc account